22. Use the problem below to answer the question that follows. So, the question within the question. A landscaper bought some decorative cement blocks from a landscaping supplier. The supplier charged 5% sales tax and the total came to $315. Without the tax, the landscaper could have bought six more blocks for the same total cost. How many blocks did the landscaper buy? And then it says here, if P represents the price of one block, in which of the following equations does X represent the problem above? Who's on first? What's on second? Where am I going? Okay, the first thing you want to do here, you want to go back, I need you to look at this problem here. And I need you to visualize. What do I mean by visualize? I mean you to visualize. You've got to get a mental picture. you got a picture. What's happening? What are we talking about? Well, imagine this is a time now you've got to use your imagination. You've got to imagine that this you are buying blocks, bricks, however you want to think about it. You're buying decorative blocks. You're a landscaper and you want to you have these blocks and these blocks cost a certain amount of money. You know that, but you want to get the best blocks. So have that in mind. Imagine yourself as that person. What else does it what else should I be imagining? All right. Well, it looks like you can you can go to the store in two different ways. The first way you can go and spend $315, you pay tax, and you can buy a certain amount of blocks for $350. The second way, you're using your imagination now. Got to use your imagination. The second way it looks like you can go to the store and if you don't pay tax, right? If you don't pay tax, what can you do? Well, you'll be able to get six more blocks. So I'm just visualizing the dilemma here. What, what's going on in this problem? The first way you go, you buy a certain amount of blocks at a certain price, paying a certain tax. The second way you go, you buy, you don't have to pay the tax, so you get to get more blocks. That's very important that before you even begin, you have an image of what this problem is e even doing. And if you don't, if you're not into landscaping, aka you don't have a yard, I want you to it's, it's more important for you to do this because you, you gotta miss, you can't miss those details. All right, so if you do have a yard, then you can use that background knowledge. Okay, here's the second strategy we're gonna do. We're gonna call this a key. We're gonna create a key for this problem. And this is how it works. Trust me, this will all make sense in a few moments. When I make my key, I need a something that's going to anchor it down. The anchor, I usually call this a title anchor by the way, for teachers that have worked with me before. The title anchor is the weird, the word that appears the most in this question. It's going to help us anchor this whole problem down and uh, it's, it's, going to be the, it's going to be the name of the key. Now, um, it's like the main idea. Well, usually if we were talking about like a movie, like a, a Disney movie or a uh, DreamWorks movie, they have uh, their titles like Ants or, Sh or Shrek or, or Bambi. The title sort of summarizes the main idea of what the story is going to be about. Well, now we're going back, and it's one word, very simple one word noun. When we go back, we're going to look for the word that connects all these ideas, um, that connects this whole problem. If you look closely, there's one word here that appears more than all the others. Did I get it? I think I got it. Blocks. So we're going to think about this problem. We're going to think about it in terms of blocks. Everything's going to be referenced back to blocks. This will help. Watch how this helps. Now the second part of this key, once I get my, t my anchor, which is that we're talking about blocks, is I look at these the answer choices and I see some variables. I see, uh, first I see uh, a P, got to know what the P is. Then I see an X, right? Right here. There's a P, an X. I'm going to write down all the things that I see down here. 
So that includes a P, an X, I see a plus 6, I see, um, I see this, I see 105, I see 9, 0 0.5, and I also see 315. So what do all these things mean? Because this is, this is really going to help me make sense of the problem. Let's see, what is P? P represents the price of one block. Ah, so look, I have my, it has the wording of my key. This is the price of a block. What does X represent? Um, X represents the answer to the problem. So what's the question? Um, how many blocks did the landscaper buy? So X is the number of blocks the landscaper buys. The number of blocks. Look, I used blocks again. What about uh, plus 6? Um, well, it says here, what does it say about plus 6? It says they can buy 6 more blocks for the same cost um, without tax. So with it, this is when you have no tax. No tax. You can get the 6. Now, the 1.05 and the, zero, and the 0.95, what does that mean? Well, if you were to go to a store and you saw these uh, shoes, right? And the shoes have a sticker price of $100. But you paid the actual pay the cashier $105. Why is that? Well, you had to pay a tax. So this actually represents 100 this act represents 105% of the price. This is with a tax. Now what happens if you go to the store, the shoe costs $100, but you walk away, this is tax, you walk away only paying, um, you only pay $95. What does that mean? We call that a sale. It's not a great sale, but it's a sale. And the 315 represents the total of one of those things. It represents with the tax. With price, uh, well, it actually represents the price with the tax, or it represents the price without the tax plus six more blocks. All right, now we're going to solve this. See if I can wrap it up real quick. Now, I look at my answer choices. I'm going to focus on the one that is correct. All right? It's this one. Number C. Why is it number C? C says here, if I have uh, X amount of blocks times a given price and I pay a tax, it's going to represent $315. Whereas the other side of the equation says, if I disregard the tax, if I get rid of the tax, right? That's the 1.05. I can get six more blocks, right? At the same price. So with the tax, I can just get X amount of blocks. Without the tax, I can get six more blocks. Why can we, how can we eliminate some of these others? Real quick, you see the 0 0.95? 0 0.95? That's referring to a sale. And in the word problem, there's nothing about a sale here, right? So I could eliminate that detail. If I, if once I do my analysis and I determine that the 0 0.95 represents a sale, and I don't see a sale on my problem, that means these ones here could be crossed off. Now, this right here, what's wrong with this one? Well, you're, it looks like you're getting six more blocks at the same low rate price, but you're paying the additional 5% tax. And this, in the problem here, it says, you pay six, uh, you get six more blocks only when you don't pay the price.